Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So we are both still in our pyjamas because it's kind of really early. It's about half past 7am. I'm trying to teach her this new like morning routine. She's only six weeks though, so I'm not taking it really hard on her. We're just chilling basically. I'm trying to see how she's going to get with this routine. So basically what I try to do is wake up at 7am, which I'm not used to. I love sleeping in. 7am is really early for me but she's awake from 7am even before that that's why i thought let's just do and start a routine that will suit her First of all, excuse my face, I am really tired because last night was absolutely terrible. Arella struggles with gas, I mean like a lot of gas, so she wakes up every hour and it's just been tiring waking up every hour last night and trying to deal with her gas and she still has a lot of gas. We try to do everything literally, we do the bicycle movements, massages, we give her gripe water and I don't know, it's not really helping. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try changing my diet even though I've already changed it. I already eliminated beans and broccoli and cabbages and stuff like that. But I'm also gonna try eliminating tofu. Obviously, usually the main one is dairy, which I don't eat, so I don't have to worry about that. But I'm gonna start eliminating tofu from now on as well or have it in a very small amount because tofu is a big part in my diet so maybe tofu is a big one that gives her gas so like i was saying i pretty much want this routine to be like this 7 a.m i want us to both get up and first thing that i'm gonna do is feed her obviously i did that today i already fed her she's nice and full then i'm gonna get up and change her nappy and change her clothes which you just seen a minute ago and then i put her in the swing and hopefully she sits there for half an hour or something like that we'll see how it goes and within that time i can kind of go make myself a juice which i'm gonna do in a minute and then she should be falling asleep and she should be going to sleep and when she goes to sleep i can have time for myself but we'll see how it goes today so i've been doing this routine for the past two days already it worked on a first day it didn't work for on the second day and today's the third day so we'll see how it's gonna go so she is still nice and calm over there it's been two minutes so we'll see how she's gonna go she's kind of staring at me like um why am i here but hopefully she's nice and settled she's usually calm in the mornings and she does like the swing so yeah but you know when she's in pain and has this gas pain she doesn't really enjoy it so we'll see i'm gonna go in the kitchen and make my juice while i have time and opportunity Falling asleep. So I've got my juice right here. We don't have a lot of ingredients left in our fridge, that's why I have to go shop today, I think. But I still managed to get something. Uh, it's got celery, apple, and kale. And it's really sweet, and it needs a lemon. That would be perfect. But this is healthy, so it will do for now. Now, the hardest bit is trying to take her from the swing to her bed usually she wakes up in the middle and it's not a success but i still have to try because i have to try this every time because i don't want her to be sleeping in the swing i want her to get used to sleeping in her day bed so that's why we're gonna try attempting that and see how it goes Well, that kind of worked but I feel like she will wake up soon um, she's moving around so yeah Hello. 
But look who's waking up after two minutes. Wow. That didn't last long, did it? sleep is like the hardest bit because she doesn't know how to go to sleep on her own yet she's only like I said six weeks so I don't expect her to know right now so it is a struggle because I have to do so many different attempts but I'm just gonna let her lay there and figure it out maybe she'll go to sleep on her own from all of this literally I just spilled my juice on the floor great and I realized back on the swing to fall asleep again and go through this whole process again so it's been about an hour and this little one is wide awake now. Are you wide awake? Yes. She's wide awake, ready to rumble, ready to party, ready to cause some trouble. Yes. There was no sleeping, was there? No. Which means I still haven't had my breakfast. Of course not. Okay. She absolutely loves this position. Um, I don't know why. She just like loves being up high. So she ended up sleeping somewhere else where she was supposed to, but at least she's sleeping, that's the main thing. It took literally an hour to get her to sleep and at the end of it she was just crying and she became really moody. And I knew it's because she's tired and she just can't fall asleep on her own. But finally, after trying and trying and trying, she finally did. So in this video I mainly wanted to show you how we live in a very small apartment which is a studio apartment if you don't know what studio apartment is it's basically just a room but we are lucky enough to actually have a wall in the middle of our room which kind of makes it into two rooms usually a studio flat is just literally a room with a kitchen and a bathroom so we don't have a lot of space and i just wanted to show you guys how we manage with a baby and together in such a small apartment are you ready guys for a house tour let's go so this is an entry to a house and this is what you see when you come in and we have a mirror just here which is actually on our radiator and I found this mirror outside of a house um, someone must have dumped it there and I just thought you know what I'm just gonna take this mirror home there is a bathroom here like I said we don't have a lot of space so we're managing literally put everything everywhere we're not allowed to put any holes in a house so we can't put any shelves or anything like that that's why everything is kind of like so this is what our bathroom looks like. This is actually a baby bath and it's just next to our toilet. And we have all these things here. As you can see, for example, to this, because we're not allowed to make holes, we actually have this thing and it's like a sticky thing that sticks to our wall, if that kind of makes sense. And we also have a shower and a bath together. Then as you come in, we kind of have this loft here on the side you can't really tell because we have our jackets here but behind it we have like a little loft and what i did is i put all the jackets here and i got this kind of hanger and it's very long and we put all our shoes here to make the use of the space we have a suitcase just here because we didn't have any space to put a suitcase you know for traveling and stuff but in there we basically have things that we don't use and we also have this squarey material, uh, like a box, where we put all our scarves and bags in. So welcome to our big room, but first of all, I'm just going to show you our kitchen. So our kitchen is absolutely tiny, um, and it looks really cluttered because we just put all our equipment over there, and we kind of managed to organize it really well. This is the main area that I actually wanted to show you, and this is basically a giant room with a baby section which i have designed on the side of the room of course i would love to have like a separate room for the baby but we don't have that so i really wanted to have like a side section so it feels like it's kind of like a baby section and this is what i came up with hopefully this little one is gonna be sleeping just a little bit longer hanging there i know it's your time to get up now but just let me do this quickly so this is what it looks like from further apart we have a set of shelves just here a massive drawer changing section these kind of decorations and a little shelf for baby stuff we'll change our baby on here obviously and here i have this kind of like 
material made shelf for baby stuff and I have everything here from different cloths, socks, trousers, vests and a lot of nappies and more nappies and stuff like that by the way if you guys wanted to see like an organization video for baby stuff let me know down in the comments below or like this video and on these shelves hello I have more kind of things my mom kind of like designed this for me these um, cards because I have a lot of cards you know congratulations and stuff but these are just normal shelves and I absolutely love this little basket because we store everything in here it's like material and it's got like a divider in there and we just put everything there like for my pink panther then I put the swing in the middle here obviously there's not much space we have a carpet which we folded in half yes my juice got spilled on it but I just like turned it around so you can't really see it it looks like it's new then we have this baby bed during the day I'm trying to make her sleep in it but she's a bit funny about this bed if she has to sleep on her own a massive stand and a TV we have more nappies and stuff like that books documents this is actually my eBay stuff I'm trying to sell loads of stuff on eBay and I don't know where to put it so obviously I had to put it somewhere so we didn't have any curtains when we first moved in and I didn't really want to waste a lot of money and like I said we're not allowed to strap anything to the walls and that kind of top is not very good to hang any curtains so what I did is just I took sheets and I just kind of tied them up but it works then I have my hanger with clothes here and of course a sofa we actually have a balcony as well which we're gonna be using during, during summer but it's still winter so we don't really need it all our pram stuff are just here as well um, this is from my progression video which is still up I still have 40 there because I didn't have time to take it off well I do have time I'm just kind of not bothered I guess uh, clothes dry and rack and some other stuff just here but it shouldn't really be here because we need to get to the pram stuff but for now it's just here so basically that's the room and then this is where we sleep it's really dark in there by the way because when we first moved in these windows you could see everything outside and there's like giant lights outside this flat which we couldn't sleep at all it was like really light during the night so we just put this folio in there so it's pitch dark in here so we never spend any time during the day here because it's just really dark and uncomfortable I have these little lights just to make it nice and cozy and this little stand from Ikea where we have a socks and stuff like that and um, a diffuser and a heater this is our bed and of course next to our bed we have a baby bed don't worry about the pillow this is not actually for the baby I use this for my breastfeeding but I just put it there during the day more ebay stuff this is where most of our stuff are underneath of this bed and a laundry stuff if you guys wondering where we keep our clothes we keep our clothes in here so this is not for baby this is for us this big wardrobe that's where we keep our clothes and that's basically the tour of a little tiny studio flat we manage here very well it doesn't seem like there's a lot of space but it's fine for us it's only two people and a baby so it's not too bad and plus we have an advantage because we have that room over here with a bed where we sleep which makes it look like there's like two rooms which is all good look who's back from work someone's grumpy and this is the end of this video as you can see this is my third top because i've been puked on again so i needed to change my clothes thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any suggestions then please leave them down below and other than that thank you guys for watching and i'll see you soon don't kiss my baby see you soon bye haha <laughs> 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 shame she didn't just puke on me but she puked on Jujulina as well.